Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you have any relationships in your life that repeatedly leave you feeling emotionally drained and miserable? These can be in the form of a romantic partner, friend, coworker, or family member. Have you tried to share your feelings and been made to feel dejected or ashamed? If so, you may be dealing with a toxic person. In today's video, we'll be looking at seven intelligent ways to deal with toxic people. Number one, you establish your physical and emotional boundaries. Do you ever feel trapped in a conversation or left ruminating about a conversation you wish you hadn't been a part of? Psychotherapist Amy Morin advises that when dealing with toxic people, you need to set your physical and emotional boundaries. For instance, this could be in the form of stepping back from a group of gossipers that make you feel uncomfortable. Understandably though, it's not always easy to physically retreat such as in work settings with colleagues and bosses. In instances like this, you can limit the emotional energy and time you spend thinking about them and try not to give much thought to them afterwards. Number two, you avoid playing into their reality. Have you ever been in a situation where a friend or coworker makes a mistake but blames it on you or someone else rather than taking responsibility for their actions? Whilst standing up and disagreeing can feel daunting, this can be done in a respectful way. In fact, it's actually healthy to agree to disagree. According to Brito and Raypole, 2019, a way to confront people without being confrontational or accusatory is taking them to the side and saying, I had a different take on the situation. Whilst they may be upset with your disagreement, they will recognize that you have a voice of your own and you're not afraid to use it. Number three, you don't share secrets with the gossipers. Have you ever come across a group of people who constantly talk about others for enjoyment and entertainment's sake? Ugh. According to psychiatrist Ned Howell, gossip can be defined as sharing information, real or imagined, without permission. Gossipers tend to delight in other people's pain and gossip about anyone and everyone they can. Chances are if someone shares other people's secrets with you, they're untrustworthy and will share your secrets too if given the chance. Because of this, the best thing to do in most instances is to not share secrets with gossipers. Number four, you focus on solutions, not problems. With many toxic people, their focus tends to be on problems rather than solutions. And they always have something to complain about, which can be very emotionally draining for people around them. On the other hand, a way of dealing with this behavior is by focusing your energy on solutions instead of problems. If you have someone in your life who creates problem after problem and continuously expects you to help them fix things, it might be worth reconsidering your relationship with them and preventing yourself from getting sucked into their drama. Number five, you spend time with loyal friends. Do you have any friends in your life that you know you can always count on? A really good friend should have your back, help you feel good about yourself and celebrate your success with you. It can be hard to come across such people, so when you do, hold them close and show up for them the way they show up for you. Rather than focusing your time and energy on toxic people, surround yourself as much as possible with loyal and loving friends. Number six, you recognize the insults, ignore them, or toss up a joke. Understandably, insults hurt and they're unpleasant and can feel like a personal dig. It's important to remember though that toxic people are often hurtful to everyone and it's much more reflective of them than it is on you. It can be really difficult, but not taking harsh words to heart can be one of the best ways of dealing with toxic people because most of the time they're just wanting to stir the pot and cause drama. In some instances, tossing up a joke can help lighten the situation and diffuse the tension. So next time someone tries to get an angry reaction from you, how about ignoring them or throwing a joke back? And number seven, you change your routine. Do you find yourself stuck in a rut of not being able to succeed because of certain people? For example, maybe you have family members who create a hostile environment when you're trying to study for an exam. If this is something you relate to, changing your routine may be a way of dealing with this. Ideally, your family in this example would be respectful of your boundaries, but in the instances where they're not, Waking up earlier or going to the library might help you help yourself. So there we have it, seven intelligent ways to deal with toxic people. Did you find any of these tips helpful? If so, please let us know in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching.
If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe to Psych2Go if you haven't already, and feel free to share with anyone you know who might also enjoy the video. And we'll see you next time.